sitting in for Reverend Al Sharpton is Charles Ellison. I am executive producer, guest host of Reality Check on WURG, our affiliate in Philadelphia. Go to wordradio.com for more information on that. We're here keeping it real. We're at the annual, the 2018 annual National Action Network Conference here on Times Square. We're at the Times Square Sheraton. Uh, where it is packed on actually several different floors uh, with conference goers here to have a number of major conversations on the state of things, on the urgency of things. The time is now, uh, and definitely uh, we're having uh, also planning sessions, I, I like to call it, you know, about how do we move forward for the next 10, 15, 50 years. Uh, and we're doing that here in New York City. You can call in and join the show, by the way, at 877 here on Keeping It Real with Reverend Al Sharpton. Joining me now, in fact, uh, who's here for the conference. Uh, I, I see this brother like once or twice a year at, at all the uh, the major gatherings and events, Reverend K.W. Tullis. Uh, he, you know him as the Western Regional Director of National Action Network, uh, also senior pastor at the historical Weller Street Missionary Baptist Church in uh, in Los Angeles. Welcome, Reverend. How are you doing, sir? I'm so glad to be here with you today, right. Charles. And man, I'm so happy. It's we're in convention mode here in New York That's City. Right. We're you know having a wonderful yeah. time and uh, got a lot of people from the West Coast with us. Um, and we're just taking in all this knowledge that's 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 being passed through the Sheraton in New York. Yeah, I've noticed. I've noticed. I can feel that West Coast vibe. Yes, right? sir. We, we <laughs> so brought everything yeah. but the weather. Right. right. Exactly. We need that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The weather, not the wildfires, but the weather. <laughs> so, but, yes, uh, sir. Uh, now, how it, it, it would be great to get from. There's so much that are, that's happening nationwide, but definitely there's a lot that's happening on the West Coast, particularly in California. Uh, we have the situation with Stephon Clark in Sacramento. So if you could give us a quick update on where that is right now. Yeah, let me just say, first of all, um, we're, you know, we want, we were so grateful to be joined this week um, by the family of Stephon Clark, his um, grandmother, uh, his uncle, his um, sister and mother was here uh, with us this week and uh, participated on a panel yesterday at National Action Network. Uh, we're so um, fortunate to have been asked by the family to um, be engaged in, the, in seeking justice for Stephon. Um, and um, at the end of the day, um, as we was there, as Reverend Sharpton often share, you know, sometimes we're the only ones that would show up on the scene to help in bringing awareness to certain situations like this. But um, this case went nationally. Uh, this case uh, is a tragedy for our community. Right. And it's a case that we have promised that National Action Network we're going to be there every step of the way uh, yeah. for the Stephon Clark family. It, it's, it's been so tragic. It, it has. The, the latest bit of information that we have is some more video mm -hmm. of the officers who, who shot Stephon Clark um, essentially uh, saying in that video that he was playing dead. So what's the community response been like to that? You know what? I'm, I'm so happy to be joined by our um, chapter president in Sacramento, Dr. Decoy Porter, uh, who's been on the ground, uh, who has been vigilant and working. You know, at the end of the day, it all looks bad. I mean, from the initial videos that we saw, from the infrared cameras that were right. being shown, uh, it shows clearly that um, Sacramento police need some sort of training. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is not the first of, this is the first of a few cases that's been taking place uh, right. in um, Sacramento. And the reality is uh, it was just wrong. And mm -hmm. I think the world has seen on television as the police video was, was released that it was wrong. And uh, at the end of the day, we want to make sure we seek justice uh, for that family, Stephon Clark, because um, that's the only thing, again, justice uh, meaning prosecution, meaning uh, us being there every mm -hmm. step of the way to help this family through this tragic ordeal. Um, it's, um, you know, this is what's going to bring about that closure. And how is the city prosecutor, the district attorney in Sacramento, how are they responding? I mean, uh, w w what's sort of the next step here? Are we looking at these these police officers being prosecuted, being, being charged? You know, is something moving forward as far as you know, full accountability for what happened? It was very grateful that the state attorney general, uh, Javier Becerra, he mm -hmm. um, opened an independent investigation. Mm -hmm. I mean, what we've seen through the years, especially in California, is we've seen that California has a history of DAs being do-nothing DAs, meaning mm -hmm. they're not 
there in cahoots with, you know, just the law enforcement officer. And uh, we're thankful again for our state attorney general for opening up this investigation. And we're going to continue to press him to make sure he overturn, I mean, that he looks and um, turn over every rock. Um, Dr. Porter uh, has been working with uh, various groups within the Sacramento community from the NAACP to BayPAC to Black Lives Matter. And they're currently uh, in the process of trying to, um, you know, hear out these DA candidates that's on reelect, that's up for election. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to make sure we take them, take them to the, take them to, we're going we to talk to them and we're going to talk to them straight that we need individuals that's going, if they don't represent our community, they need to get some courage. They need to make sure that our residents are, um, you know, they're they're protected just like they, you know, if they're going to prosecute our residents, they need to prosecute those that illegally kill our children. Mm -hmm. uh, California, uh, if you're just now listening in, we're talking with Reverend K.W. Tullis. He's Western Regional Director of the National Action Network. He's also senior pastor at the historically Weller Street Missionary Baptist Church in yeah. Los Angeles. He joins us here live we keeping it real with Reverend Al Sharpton. I'm your guest host for the afternoon, Charles Ellison. Uh, you can catch me online or on social media at Ellison Report, by the way. And you can join in on the conversation if you have any questions, uh, if you have any comments for Reverend Tolis. We're here at 877-532-5797. That's 877-532-5797 here on Keeping It Real with Reverend Al Sharpton. And so, Reverend California, like many states this year, is a battleground state uh, for a number of political races. You just mentioned uh, a few, you know, particularly locally in Sacramento, uh, whether it's the DA there or uh, also city council members there. They're, they're going to be they're facing primary battles of their own. Do we do we suspect that this tragedy over Stephon Clark is going to be a major election issue in California, particularly with those statewide races for governor and also attorney general? It needs to be, you know, and this is why many of us have traveled from uh, California, Dr. Porter, Elder Cummings, uh, our leader in Watts. We, we come here today because, again, we want to fine tune our skills because it's all about organizing and strategically organizing our community to bring about awareness. Uh, Stephon Clark should be a topic in every community across uh, America, especially California, a state um, that prides itself on being a progressive state. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's a, it's a, it's, it, we, we, we elect sometimes do-nothing politicians. So it's not too progressive. They, they say they're progressive, but they don't, they don't, they're, they're not moving forward. Um, the reality is, yes, um, this is a major election year. We have uh, individuals from the governor to the um, Congress to um, local elected officials, city council. And it's very, very important that we as a community, we organize and we mobilize together. That's why this convention was so important. That's why we had so many people from the West Coast that's coming because we want to take it one step by one community at a time by each other. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, I'm, I'm just now getting information that the California State Legislature, California Assemblies, uh, introduced legislation or have they passed legislation yet as far as police accountability, also uh, situations where, where police encounters end up with fatalities? There's a lot of proposed legislation that's um, taking place currently on the debate, the, the topic right now, of course, with the Stephon Clark um, shooting, um, the use of force policy uh, around um, California, how do you engage um, uh, within um, this independent investigation topic is coming up in regards to how can we be like, um, you know, a state like New York? Um, who, anytime there's a police officer involved shooting, there's an automatic independent investigation from their state attorney general. Right. And we've been talking about that in California, and we're looking forward to, again, engaging and strategizing and pushing things forward. All right, we're uh, going to take a quick break here on Keeping It Real with Reverend Al Sharpton. Uh, you can call in at 877-532-5797 as we continue our discussion with Reverend K.W. Tullis, Western Regional Director of the National Action Network as we're talking here live from the National Action Network Convention here in New York City. We'll be right back after this quick break.